Warning. Warning. This show contains mature content. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready to get your mind blown? One angry New York City Puerto Rican decided to start a radio show. Determined to piss the world off by shoving a mirror in front of society's face. He kicked them in the balls. What are you? Who are you? This is the Crotch Shot Radio Show. Crotch Shot Radio Show. This is not a test. This is a broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air. And now, and now, the whippy, the whippy. Welcome to the Crowd Shot Radio Show, where we kick the issues in the balls. We are on an active war against bullshit. We would do anything and everything to expose bullshit. The ends sometimes justify the means, so if you're angry and want the truth exposed, then strap in and prepare to be shocked. This is Smash Mouth Talk. If you can't accept that, then fuck off. I am your host, Louis B. I takes no bullshit from nobody. I actually expose the bullshit of society and chop it up into easy to digest just chunks for you. Today won't be any different. Today, I have a simple damn question to ask. Where the fuck is Black Lives Matter? Where the hey, fuck? Hey, here's a file steal that's music Whoops. to your ears. Get 150 meg internet, oh, TV, and phone for just hell? $79.99 a month. Where the fuck is Black Lives Matter? Sorry, I got my 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 I I get commercials on my show now, so that way you know I could start paying uh, using the show to pay some bills, so that way I could continue doing this for free. But yeah, the whole Stephen Stevens um, murder of that seventy-four-year-old grandfather Robert Godwin Senior. May he rest in peace. And now, you know what? And and I hate to be a part of this. I hate to be a part of this. But now, that poor man is going to get politicized. And it's it's it. But the thing is, it's a fair question. As 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 an organization that focuses on nothing but identity politics, that uses uh that that uses uh, incorrect data. Or just and just uses, you know, oh, you know, blanket statement. The police are racist. The police are racist. Don't get me wrong. I would, you know, hold the police, hold the the police, uh, law enforcement, hold their feet to the fire. Of course, of course. I mean, but don't just think, oh, they hate black people. They're going after black people. Um, uh, the worst case of a police brutality I ever heard of, um, well, being in New York, of course, Abner Louima, um, uh, Amadou Diallo in the nineties and those police officers got off, uh, th- that's disgusting. But also the police officers that beat the living crap out of, um, uh, out of Kelly Thomas, who was a schizophrenic homeless man who was white. And he was apologizing, saying, I'm sorry, Daddy, help me, Daddy, I'm sorry. Screaming for his father. We got Mildred in the chat room. How you doing, Mildred? Take a sip of my Sprite Zero. Fresh, refreshing, crisp. So, (laughs) but, you know... 
first of all, let me, in case you haven't heard about this story, in case you're one of the few that have not heard, there was a gentleman, well, fuck it, not a gentleman, there was a fuck boy, a fucking animal, demonic, demon-worshipping, Satan, cock-sucking animal, who got broken up with by his girlfriend of three years. Who, who, honestly, whoever starts blaming her, because, well, no, okay, well, let me, let me just, let me get my thoughts together. His girlfriend broke up with him. He was distraught. Instead of handling his emotions like a man, movingon.org, perhaps pursuing other love interests, gathering himself, and move, moving on, he decided that he was so angry at being broken up with because how dare someone... How dare someone have a choice? How dare someone who, you know, make a decision for their own lives and make a decision that that person wasn't good, a uh, good fit for their lives? He decided to go out and pick a random person and kill them and record it on Facebook Live. And, and, uh, and, the, the, it's so fucking senseless. There, I can't even fathom. Um, and 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 honestly, as you know, I have been rejected many times. In fact, over stupid reasons. Uh, but the thought never crossed my mind to kill someone. The thought never crossed my mind to. decide to pick a random person and kill them. My thought I've never even thought to kill the person that rejected me. The only time I've done anything out of retaliation is after they fucked with me. I mean, and even still it wasn't violent, it was petty as fuck because hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the king I, I have a black belt in passive aggressive pettiness. I am I am the king of pettiness. But it's like you can't fat like honestly, I, like no one's worth going to jail for. Like and then but then he picks someone that has nothing to do with the whole situation. Like where you know that no one no so then, this bitch made faggot, and I'm just not even gonna, I, I don't give a fuck, this is a libertarian podcast, I, I, you know, you curse too much, well, you know what, fuck it, this is uncensored, and, and, you know, I speak from the heart, the gut, and my ass, <laughs> so, um, You know, it's it's just so Robert Godwin Sr. was murdered on Facebook Live, shot in the head, had nothing to do with it. This dude blames his girlfriend. Oh, this is why you're getting killed. It makes it it it, it, it the senseless doesn't seem to be the correct enough word to use. Um. I don't, I, it's just, I can't understand it. I can't understand it. It, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. Um, it, you know, he's a black man that killed another black man. Uh, yes, I guess, uh, earlier today, they, um, after, after five days of searching for him or wait, Sunday, Sunday, he killed him. Um, so after three days of a manhunt, 
five state manhunt for this animal. Um, the coward, which it really shouldn't surprise me because again, he's a bitch made coward, simp, demon worshiping scum. Um, he took his own life when the cops got close. I don't feel bad that he's dead. I wish he was killed by... I wish he was killed by the cops. I wish he got a chance to be shot and murdered. Well, shot and killed. Well, executed or put to sleep by the police. So that way there would be more, a more sense of justice. So... On my Facebook feed, on my Facebook, um, I posted this, and I will read uh, the comments, because it's a question that it must must be asked. Um, let me get it, because I, I don't want to misquote myself, because that's how, how much of an anal fucking retentive son of a bitch I am. Um, where the fuck is Black Lives Matter on about Stephen Stevens killing an innocent black grandfather? Huh? Where the fuck are you? Where is your outrage? I swear, if you stay quiet on this shit, I hope you all get spat in your damn faces. His name was Robert Godwin Sr. He had 14 grandchildren. Where in the fuck? Where the fuck are they? You, they, they'll come out when it's a goddamn actual criminal committing a fucking crime and and he fights the cops and they, and they get shot. He's like, oh, you didn't have to shoot him. They'll freaking have a fucking march. They'll fucking freaking give the motherfucker sainthood if he's killed by the racist cops. Ah, yes. Refreshing Sprite Zero. Nice crisp lime taste. Um, so this is this is what I got. This, uh, let me read the comments I got. And I will... Like, I mean, I have I have my Skype open. Uh, crotch Shot Radio on Skype if you guys want to call in. Um, Black uh, Mildred comments... Uh, Black Lives Matters not there because they care more about looking good than doing good. They don't care about blacks one bit. True story. True story. Because uh, let me let me read the comments. Let me read these comments here. Uh, Angel Rosado, who is a, also a frequent listener, he goes exactly. That should be the topic of your next show, which is why I'm doing it. Thank you. Uh, uh, Oniyad uh, uh, says, "What is there to protest?" Hashtag stupid logic. And I said, um, "What is there to protest?" I'm uh, well, I misread it. I'm just gonna read it because you know, let me be transparent because you know, uh, I I misread his I misread his question. I was like, nope, nothing, silence, uh, nope, nothing, silence, which is pretty much on par with that shit movement. Where the fuck, uh, well, okay, I mentioned another comic, because she's a Black Lives Matter activist, and she, you know, she shitted on me, so I was like, where the fuck is she on this? Because she's like one of those, like, socialist May Day fucking marching in motherfuckers. Um, so you already admit there's nothing to protest, so what's your point? I don't know where Elsa is. I'm not her. Oh, I I misread I misread. I thought you asked if Black Lives Matter is protesting. They should be protesting. Black on black violence. This guy shot and killed an innocent grandfather for no reason. Why would they protest? This guy killed a guy cuz he got broken up with. Race had nothing to do with. It's uh, you and uh, uh Unanimous across the board. He should be shot on sight. Don't know why you brought up race. 
Are you kidding me? Both the murderer and the victim are both black. Don't you fucking dare. I ain't white. And my god sister, who is uh, pro-black and a Black Lives Matter activist, says they better come out to come out on this. Unless he killed the guy because he was black, your argument makes no sense. Can you provide proof that he killed him because of his ethnicity? When the cops get away... Uh, when the cops get away with it, it's wrong too. But blacks are still dying on the streets. It's not either or, it's both and more. It, cool, but I rarely see you speak up when cops do it. Because cops do it to every race. The police kill whites, blacks, and Latins. Google Kelly Thomas. So you're not so you're just not that moved when they do it. And they, they're not supposed to. But this is where you make your stance, that's cool, man. <laughs> Alrighty. First of all, uh, funny how there's nothing to do with it when it suits them. Okay, yes, yeah, says Mildra. Alright, my, like, this is, this is my issue. This is my issue. Um... Like, look, black lives do matter. They matter. But you can't, you can't just go and focus on one aspect on how black people are dying and not focus on the other thing. <clears throat> and this has been a point of contention since uh, Black Lives Matter inception. Like, 28 people got, and I could be wrong, but uh, 28 people got shot. I forgot how many got killed in Chicago. Nothing's being done with that. Where the fuck is Black Lives Matter on that? Don't get me wrong. The police are wrong when they... It, it, you know... When they shoot an innocent person or kill an innocent person. They're wrong. But, like, we gotta look at it on a case-by-case -case basis. And not just be like, you're racist! You're racist! Like, come on. Look, like Google Kelly Thomas. I mean, that, 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 that there was a white guy that got shot by the cops. Well, no, he got shot, but his kid got killed. But it was determined that he was fucking up and he caused his... Like, he did something that caused the cops to shoot him. I forgot the whole story, but... I mean, the, the Kelly Thomas thing is, is horrific. But I'm sorry, uh, Mike Brown cr was a criminal. The forensics fucking uh, supports the police officer's story. And I, you know, I'm not a fan of George Zimmerman. I'm not a fan. I, I, I wish, I wish they would have killed each other. But the moron with the better equipment won that fight. And yes, George Zimmerman is a fucking moron. He's a wannabe cop. And he thought he had more... And this is coming from me. I am a security guard. I do not act like a cop. In fact, when shit goes down, the job is to observe and report. The job is, if something goes down, you call the cops. The ones with the gun, the ones that I pay tax dollars to, or you, uh, we pay tax dollars, who carry the guns that have the power to knock someone out when they're doing something, when they break the law and take them away. It's not my job to be like, put your hands up. Nope, sorry, I'm not duty bound. It's not my job. I don't act like a cop. I am basically. A, a video camera with a heartbeat. Damn, I've been mad thirsty today. Um, but this really, this really shows like how hypocritical Black Lives Matter is. 
I mean, at the very least, fucking condemn it. At the very least, we're like, we're sorry for the family's loss. This type of violence must end within our communities. Uh, fathers need to be introduced. Need to be. Need to be cherished and re- black fathers matter. I mean, I just saw that video from Prager University, just like not even five minutes. Well, yeah, more than five minutes ago. The fact is, I mean, let's really talk about it. You want to talk about the problem? Why black lives are need to matter? We need to make sure black fathers remain in the family. We need to... And you know what? And I'm saying we because, you know, I'm a dark-skinned Hispanic. I have African blood in me, so fuck it. You're not black enough. If you anybody says that, suck a fu- suck the fattest part of my ass. Eat my Eat the shit out my ass. You're not black enough. I probably would be a I probably would be a fucking sissy if my father wasn't in my life. Fathers matter. And you know what? Guaranteed, guaranteed if the black family gotten stronger, a nuclear black family got stronger, a lot of this shit would end. A lot of families would be stronger. Hey, maybe we would have had 10, 15, 30, well, 10, maybe 5, 5 or 10 fucking U.S. presidents. Hopefully fucking libertarian candidates. (laughs) But studies show when there's a father in the home, it builds a stronger community. That you know, you wanna you wanna protect black lives, protect black fathers. Make it like like condemn the whole culture of oh, I'm a strong black woman, I don't need a man. Stop making wedlock babies. Stop it. Like, stop it. It's not cute you have... It's not cute if you have, like, two kids or three kids from three different baby daddies. That shit ain't cute. That shit, that shit is mad unattractive. And you're probably pretty much signing your child's death warrant. Well, death death certificate. Because they're going to try to seek out a positive, uh, positive role model. And then they get into gangs. And they start doing that other stupid shit. Because you got retards fucking raising retards that were raised by retards. That's who I blame for poor Robert Godwin Sr., father of nine, grandfather of 14. Died for no reason because some fuckboy that couldn't, couldn't handle rejection. Could, didn't know how to dust himself off, pick himself up. And keep it moving. He didn't know. Hey. You know what? Move on.org. There's there's more fish in the sea. And you know what also gets me sick? I mean. What's the name of this girlfriend? I mean. um, Because I just. um, I saw that they were blaming Joy Lane, Steven Stevens' ex-girlfriend, um, for this, uh, for this to happen.
In fact, hold on. Let me read this because now I guess I guess this is the first time I'll ever agree with a a um, <laughs> a feminist uh, website. So uh, I guess uh, it's ten fifty four p.m. on a Tuesday, April eighteenth, and uh, finally, I guess a bloke broke a Brooklyn a Brooklyn a broken clock is right twice. But uh, this is from HelloBeautiful.com. No, Join Lay is not to blame for Steven Stevens' actions. Stop trying to point the finger at the ex-girlfriend for the senseless murder that Stevens committed. Okay, let me read this quick article. What was she supposed to be? A peaceful, e- uh, what was supposed to be a peaceful Easter Sunday ended in tragedy for an innocent elderly man who was doing nothing but walking down the street after dinner. Cleveland investigators say that Robert Godwin Sr.'s death was random, as they believed that the Steve Stevens just walked up to the 74-year-old and shot him dead. In the video the, uh, the, of the murder that was posted on Facebook, Stevens is heard saying, Found me somebody I'm about to kill. This old dude. According to the same video, as a 34-year-old geared up to shoot Godwin, Steven... 34... No, he's actually he's 37, which makes it worse. An old ass... Like, you know... An old ass man, I'm 33. Oof. But still, you know, he's closer to 40, still acting like a fucking bitch. According to the same video, as the 34-year-old geared up to shoot Godwin, Steven said his ex-girlfriend's name, Joy Lane, and added, she's the reason this is about to happen to you. In another video, Steven said he won't stop killing until his mother and ex-girlfriend call him. I'm killing motherfuckers all because of this bitch. She's putting me at the pushing uh, pushing point. Today is Easter, Easter, Day, is Easter Day Joy Lane Massacre. Where while there were plenty of condolences being given on Twitter on fa- and Facebook for the Godwin family, like clockwork, misogynoir, the intersections of racism, sexism geared toward black women, reared its ugly head when folks began to blame Lane for Stephen's unhinged and murderous behavior. Peering through the uh, my timeline, I witnessed both men and women question why Lane didn't just call Stevens, wanting to know what she did to invoke this type of behavior, and that perhaps Lane should have been killed instead of Godwin. Even worse, Lane's sexual skills have been said to have been co- have been caused the Godwin's death, and she isn't pretty enough to drive a man insane. That shit is just sick to me. I mean, look, I'm not trying to be a simp. I'm not trying to be a Captain Save a Ho because, you know, I don't know nothing about Joy Lane, so I, I'm not I, guilty, innocent until proven guilty. So, you know, she's not a hoe. I'm not saying she's a hoe, but I can't find fault in that. Why would you, if you broke up, he, obviously the man was insane. Obviously there was something wrong with him for her to break up with him. Obviously. Obviously, and and as someone that has dealt with, you know, women that were, <laughs> I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to fucking. I don't want to hear their voice. I don't want to hear they're crazy. I don't want to. I don't want to. Like I don't want that shit. And then you're blaming her sexual prowess or or what she did. Like what, what in the fuck? Like what is wrong with people? Like, how can you freaking bring fault on this woman's feet? The fault is with Steven Stevens alone. Like, honestly, like like a sane person would be like, oh, well, if I break up with him, he's going to kill somebody. No. You know what? If I would have known, if, if, I, if I was dating someone and I broke up with them and they were like, I, I knew that for a fact they would kill someone, I would call the motherfucking cops. He's a danger to others. Ah, yes. Another swig from my Sprite Zero. Very refreshing. Very crisp. Delicious. Uh, always blame, uh, Mildred goes, always blaming something else like that will absolve their responsibility. Scapegoating. Here's some tweets. I wonder what that Joy Lane lady did that pissed off that Steve guy so bad. Like, a dude is dead and she won't even talk about it. What the fuck, lady? 
Really? What the fuck is that supposed like? See, ugh, it makes no damn sense to me. What the fuck is she supposed to do? She doesn't have no. She she owes that some of my bitch nothing. And you know what? Me like, look, I grew up with Jehovah's Witness, but I hope I like we we grew up knowing or being taught that there's no such place as hell. I wish there was. I wish there was or is a certain place where sons of bitches like him fucking or tortured eternally. I hope. Joy Lane has nothing to do with this. That poor leave that poor woman alone. This joy again more tweets. This Joy Lane bitch needs to call dude ASAP so so he can chill chill out. Any bitch that got pussy like Joy Lane, stay the fuck away from me, bitch. Really? Like, am I the only... Like, honestly, these fucking comments are so stupid, I don't even... I I can't even think of what fucking argument to explain, like... Freaking pussy. Like, no, 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 no. The fact is, he was weak. He was weak. He was weak, and, and, you know, instead of... Like he, he was so weak. He like not only did he have a he needed a gun. He needed the gun to shoot a seventy four. He went after a seventy four year old man who couldn't really who couldn't defend himself. Who couldn't defend himself? Is, is it fucked up? To, uh, is it fucked up that I think that that guy should just kill Joy Lane instead of all those other people? I'm on Joy Lane ass. She ruined my Easter. I don't know why that Cleveland nigga killed the people over that ugly bitch Joy Lane. That nigga better get a bag and go home. No disrespect, but if somebody had to die, it should have been Joy Lane. Why does she have to die? Why does she have to die? She like she's supposed to stay in an unhappy relationship with some obvious psychopath. With some obvious guy with mental issues, he's supposed to stay with him? Are you fucking kidding me? And then she needs to die because she couldn't take his crazy ass anymore. And she needed happiness in her life. She needed to be happy in her life and get have peace in her life. Obviously, this dude would... Like, honestly... Like, real, I can only imagine this dude was a fucking, was a fucking disaster for her life. Talk about, uh, back to the article, talk about the bottom of the barrel. Thankfully, there were plenty of folks speaking out against this nonsense. Okay, uh, this is leave black women the fuck alone. Leave black, oh, well. <laughs> leave black lives matter the fuck alone. Leave the mental illness the fuck alone. Leave Joy Lane the fuck alone. Okay, no, I'm not leaving black lives matter the fuck alone. They need to fucking condemn this shit. It's not Joy Lane's fault. In that order, say it with me. It's not Joy Lane's fault. Praying for Joy Lane. She is the victim in this as well. She deserves peace and freedom. Now she won't get it. Oh no, she'll get pe- she'll get her peace and freedom. No, she deserves she deserves her peace and freedom. She does. She deserved to be she 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 owed that son of a bitch nothing, nothing. If you are unhappy in a relationship, you have every right to leave. And this is coming from someone that gets that's been rejected, gets rejected all the fucking time for stupid reasons, but you know. Sometimes people are just not right for each other. Sometimes it takes time to realize someone's not right for you. People deserve to have peace and freedom. If you blame Joy Lane for this man's horrendous actions, you're the worst kind of person and are deluded as hell. Amen. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is... Uh, um, please respect our wishes. Steven, Steve Stevenson's ex-girlfriend Joy Lane responds to the horrific tragedy. 
I feel for Jarlene to lay this murder at her feet. I can't imagine what she must be going through. Uh, anyone who wants to put blame for these murders on Joy Lane rather than on a toxic masculinity male entitlement. Ugh. God damn it. Toxic masculinity. Honestly, let's let the toxic masculinity. Don't get me fucking started. First of all, no. Just because this son of a bitch is insane. Well, was insane that he had a mental issue. So don't fucking talk to masculinity because you know what? Masculinity does not mean uh, uh, you own a woman. No, sorry, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not masculine to like freaking beat your chick and act like you own her or act like she own you. No, no. And now I'm not reading this because they like the patriarchy. No, the patriarch. Don't fucking blame the patriarchy for this son of a bitch either. Don't blame masculinity or the patriarchy on this son of a bitch. Cause I'm masculine. I'm about the I'm about the patriarchy because you know what? If I'm with if I'm married to someone and I have a family, I believe in the patriarchy. In my in my position. Or in my my responsibility as a masculine male and a uh, as a patriarch of a family to bust my ass to provide and protect my family. That is what the patriarchy is. I ah, hear. Here's a tweet. Um. <laughs> I better not hear none of that toxic masculinity crap over this Joy Lane mess. As a masculine man, I hope Joy Lane is safe. Amen? That's from at ProBlack6121. Uh, I agree. But it's not her fault. He needs to be held at his, you know, you know, he needs to be held to his own actions. Oh, and finally, there's a one part of this article that I disagree with, but fuck it. So, oh man. And okay. Also wanted to get into this whole Antifa, uh, the, the, the fight that happened. The Antifa fight. Did you hear, see the Antifa freaking <laughs> Trump supporter fight on pay-per-view on Sunday? <laughs> um, On this episode of... You know, <laughs> on this week's episode of, you know, I'm a girl, you can't hit me, but I could fucking start swinging and you better not hit me back. Uh, <clears throat> there's this one girl <clears throat> who they're who they're calling Moldy Locks. She was trying to hit people with a glass bottle and she got punched in the face because, of course, Antifa, they want every time there's a Trump a Trump uh, rally. Somebody wants to, they want to come and try to fucking swing on somebody and be like, we're going to scalp some, some Nazis. So now, um, uh, Trump, some Trump supporters, they've gotten fed up and now they're getting violent right back and they're getting there. They're, they're kicking anti-fa, anti-fascism's ass. Um, and I'm sorry, as someone that I am an egalitarian. I'm a, a go, of course, libertarian, ego, egalitarian. If you're gonna hit, if you're, if you are mad, like my mom used to say, if if a girl is gonna be mad enough to hit a man, she better be mad enough to take a hit from one. And this chick, I don't know if you've seen the video, she got knocked the fuck. She got, she got, she got her shit pushed in, pretty much. Do not, do fucking knuckled up and punched her out like a man. 
Well, apparently not that hard because she wasn't bleeding. Because if I would, if if I was to lay into a bitch that that was trying to cut me with a fucking bottle, oh, trust and believe. If I laid into her with all my strength, something getting broken. <laughs> and I'm not saying that with pride. I'm just saying that that's a matter of fact. And I don't care what anybody says. Oh, there's no reason to hit a woman. No, if you're gonna harm me. Because you don't like my beliefs. I'm going to defend myself. That That's it. No. I don't like. Unless I fucking touch you. Unless I fucking. Um, assault you in any way. Or. or You know. Like I would understand getting snu- like Getting cut. If I grabbed a woman's ass. That I, without her knowledge. Yeah. I get, I would understand that, but, oh, he voted for Trump, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to hit him with a fucking glass bottle, bitch, what, and you know how I hate Antifa, and this is someone, I'm like, I'm not really that much of a Trump supporter anymore, because he's doing shit that I do not agree with, as a libertarian, I, there's, he's Pulling some shit I don't agree with. But I still do not believe that anyone has a right to hit someone because they have a different belief. I do not understand what's so hard about that concept. If you cannot fucking debate someone on an intellectual level, then your argument is shit. Ain't that logical? I think it's logical. So anyways, look, I got the chat room open. If you guys want to talk, uh, feel free in chat. I also have uh, the Skype open at Crotch Shot Radio on the Skype. Feel free, add to me. So. Oops. But I'm getting tired of this whole anti-fascism. I'm like, I mean, and this also ties into my uh, my uh, my other uh, podcast that I talked about, lazy protests. If you actually believe the president, put in work. If you're against the president, put in work. Hold his feet to the fire. Call your congressman. Call this. Actually, put in fucking work. Like me, I'm trying to put in work because you know what? I like there's shit that I want to change, but if the government's not going to do it, if there's something that you believe in that the government that you feel the government should be doing or that should be happening, if you want to help women get abortions, you pay for it. How's about how's about you start a non profit where people donate money to and you take it out the government's hands? Because the government is fucking mismanages everything in the fucking first place. If there's something the government is doing wrong or you something that you want happened or you want done, put in work, get it funded privately. Don't involve the government. If people want to get an abortion, get an abortion. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with abortion at all. Do I want to stop a woman from getting it? No. Why? Because I am a libertarian. I mean, I it, it really, when it comes down to it, it's a moot how I feel about it. It is moot how I feel with what a woman does with her own body. Yes, I do believe life starts at conception. It does. I do believe, I do find um, partial birth abortion repugnant, disgusting. Do I, 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 find, I find the fact that some women use abortion as a form of birth control fucking irresponsible and disgusting. 
But do I feel like I have a say in the matter? No. I do not have a say when it comes to that. But I do have a say that if my tax dollars go and pay for that, it shouldn't pay for it. But if you want, if you feel like a woman should have um, free access to abortion, start a nonprofit, pay for it yourself. And that's something I learned from Alex Merced, the guest that I had yesterday. I mean, uh, last week. <laughs> But going out and fighting people. Oh, you you voted for Trump. We're going to fight. Well, you know what? Eat dick. <laughs> it, you have no reason. So. Anyways, I'd like to thank everyone for listening to today's show. Please smash that like button. Please like, comment, share. And, you know, uh... You know, if you're listening on Spreaker, please visit my advertiser, the person that sponsors this show. Uh, you know, please click the link. Please uh, at least check out their their uh, whatever they're offering. It helped me out. It'll help me improve this show. Uh, you know, afford to get more equipment uh, to to start upgrade doing doing some upgrades. So. Uh, also follow me on uh, Twitter. Twitter is at Louis B One, Gab at Louis B One, Instagram at Louis B One. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Louis B Comedy. I have a show coming up at Broadway Comedy Club on June twenty fourth. All the info is at uh, Facebook.com slash Louis B Comedy. And as always, from my house to your house. Mahalo. And that's the end of my show. Donk. <laughs>